So, let's hear what one of these sounds like. I'll put in disc one. Hello fellow Ozians. I'm the Louisiana Quadling, a Wizard of Oz collector and enthusiast, sharing with you my thoughts, my collection, and a little bit of my musical talent with all of you. And welcome to my channel. Today, we are returning to the land of 3D. In two previous videos, I covered the different packet versions of the original Wizard of Oz Viewmaster Reels. And if you haven't seen those videos, they are linked down below. Today, we will be talking about another variant from Viewmaster. The Talking Viewmaster. In 1970, the current owner of Viewmaster, GAF, released the Talking Viewmaster. There had been other versions in between, of course, the standard viewer and the talking one. There was a projector and also a lighted version, but this is the first one that incorporates sound with the pictures. But how does it work? Well, this viewer actually needs batteries to work. It needs two C batteries. Each of the reels has a little record that's attached to the back of it. And once inserted into the viewer, you simply have to press down on this button right here and the sound will play. There's a little needle on the inside that reads each record. Now, The Wizard of Oz was one of the earlier talking Viewmaster sets that Viewmaster made. This is the original release for the talking Wizard of Oz reels. You can see from the cover art that there are three images. Now, I would suppose that they were meant to represent the three different reels, but all three pictures are not from the three different reels. We only have two of them represented, so... interesting. To see the reels, you simply take out the insert. And on the inside, we have our reels, and we also still have those wonderful little booklets included with these too. You have to take off that cardboard insert on the inside. And we'll take out the book to show you the reels. And just as I said, here is the front. And on the back, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a little record there. Now, Viewmaster did give these reels a brand new numbering system. So the Wizard of Oz talking packet is different from the standard one. And these are labeled AVB361. The last digit after all of that denotes which reel you have. This one has the number 3 after 361, indicating that it's reel 3. So let's get to the part that you're probably wondering. What do these sound like? And what exactly was recorded? Are they simply just reading what's already on the description for each picture on the reels? No, they actually aren't. They actually have different voice actors voicing all of the different characters that are on the pictures. Interesting, right? There is still a narrator to guide you through some of them, but for the most part, each one of them is played out with the characters interacting with each other, which is pretty cool. So, let's hear what one of these sounds like. I'll put in disc one. Thank <laughs> you. 
obviously the sound quality isn't exactly top notch, but it's still pretty impressive for a 50 year old toy. Later on, GAF tried to improve this viewer by making the sound louder and clearer. Now, I don't have one of those to test, but I do have multiples of these Wizard of Oz talking reels. And the thing that I noticed amongst the different ones that I own is that it's the actual records on the reels and not necessarily the viewer that makes them louder. Uh, because I have one out of this whole set, and we'll be looking at that one later, that is really loud compared to that one and really clear. So I have a feeling it might be usage, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to get another viewer to really find out, but at least that's what I've observed with the ones that I have here. Now, there are a couple of variants, as we have seen before with Viewmaster, that GAF did with the packaging of this talking Viewmaster. So the next one is a new packaging for the Wizard of Oz reels. This one features a different insert. We have lost the cardboard insert that was on top of that white plastic. And we now just have a black plastic insert. And you can see that the reel's like moving around. That still features the booklet and the three reels. The easiest way to distinguish between this version and that earlier one is actually by looking at the cover. The earlier edition, the first one I should say, has the Wizard of Oz printed in white, and the second version has it on a black background. So that's the easiest way of seeing that one. Plus, the back is also different. The original has just a reprinting of the front, and the second version has advertisements for those new and improved talking viewers. Now, another thing to watch out for with these talking Viewmaster reels. Just like in the first video when I talked about the standard packet during 1975 to 1981, GAF was no longer using Kodachrome film to print the images. They were using a inferior non-archival film that unfortunately means the pictures lose their color and they turn red. And it also affects the talking Viewmaster reels, because the second edition that I'm showing you, the pictures are red. So if you are going to pick up only one copy of the talking Viewmaster and you want to view it for yourself, you definitely don't want to get one that has red images. So I would suggest not picking up the one with the black background and pick up the one with the white background Wizard of Oz on the cover. That way you're guaranteed that you are not going to be getting one that has uh, images that are affected. Our next variant is a condensed version of the Wizard of Oz. Yes, they did that with the talking Viewmaster too. In another gift pack, they included the Wizard of Oz as a one disc reel. Now this is a, the exact same images and reel from that previous one reel version that I showed you in a previous video, except that this one has the little record and is a talking version of that one. And interestingly enough, out of all of the records on these talking ones, this one is the best one out of all the ones that I own. Now, I don't know whether that's because it wasn't played that much, maybe from where it was stored, I honestly don't know, but kind of fascinating that the, this one would be the one that's the loudest and the clearest, but there you go. <laughs> And one last little mention, 
Just like the original standard version of The Wizard of Oz, they also included an image, at least this time not from the reels, but of the actual packet in a demonstration reel for the Talking Viewmaster. And this one includes a picture of the Wizard of Oz packet amongst a whole bunch of other ones. So if you're interested in having another Viewmaster that at least promotes the Wizard of Oz Viewmaster, pick up this reel. Do you love Viewmaster as much as I do? Make sure to check out those other videos on the Wizard of Oz Reels by Viewmaster. And if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. New videos are posted every two weeks on the 15th and last day of each month. And if that doesn't satisfy your appetite for Oz, follow the link in the description to ozclub.org and join the International Wizard of Oz Club. Until next time, bye y'all.